Within the wizarding world of Harry Potter, a world unknown to muggles, there lies a plethora of spells, potions, charms, creatures, and plants that can only exist within this alternate magical world. In the fourth book and movie, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, there is a competition called the Triwizard Tournament which involves participants from the three major schools of magic, Hogwarts, Durmstrong Institute, and Bo Batten's Academy of Magic. The participants are selected from the Goblet of Fire in which Harry's name is pulled even though he is technically too young to compete. He accepts the challenge and takes on the dangerous tasks that lie ahead. The second task of the tri wizard Tournament is to rescue something special or important to the participants which is being held hostage by the Mer people in the depths of the Black Lake. In order for Harry to complete the second task of the tournament, Neville advises him to consume the plant known as Gillyweed. Let's see how Harry feels about this. You're sure about this, Neville? Absolutely. For an hour? Most likely. Most likely? Well, there is some debate among herbologists as to the effects of fresh water versus salt water. You're but... telling me this now? You must be joking. I, I just wanted to help. Well, that makes you a right side better than Ron and Hermione. Where are they, anyway? We can tell Harry doesn't feel too assured by Neville's uncertainty. So let's delve further into what Gillyweed actually is, what it does, and what could potentially be the real-life equivalent. After discovering that it was Professor Moody who gave Neville a book titled Magical Water Plants of the Mediterranean, we understand that gilly gillyweed is native to the Mediterranean Sea. When consumed, one grows gills on the neck as well as acquiring webbing between the fingers and toes, which allots the ability to breathe underwater, as well as enhanced swimming capabilities due to the webbed appendages. Let's see how this works out for Harry and if Neville can actually be trusted. No magic will save us. You may begin at the sound of the cannon. What's the matter with him? I don't know, I can't see him. Oh my god! I've killed Harry Potter! Yeah! <laughs> so what could possibly be the real life equivalent to Gillyweed? Seaweed. From the look of Harry's face, it's safe to say that magic plants isn't considered tasty like seaweed is for some of us. According to science, seaweed is able to grow underwater from extracting carbon dioxide from the animals living underwater and using it for the photosynthesis process. When underwater plants release oxygen during photosynthesis, you can sometimes see bubbles rise to the surface in the same way that bubbles appear when people exhale underwater. Of course, seaweed is lacking the magical component it needs in order to function like a gillyweed plant. But here's how we think it could work in the same ways if magic prevailed. Warning, don't try this at home. Or maybe, everybody eats the stuff. So if we are pretending that seaweed can function equally to gillyweed, one could assume that once the plant is consumed, it uses the carbon dioxide and oxygen from the consumer to transfer the photosynthesis process into their chemical makeup which orders their genes to acquire the physical traits they need in order to function underwater. Hence the gills, webbed hands, and feet. While gillyweed may sound fun to experiment with, we wouldn't recommend using it to explore the Black Lake. 